of you know, midweek series like this, the challenges to, to just get, get four hits last night, four hits today after getting no hit for six and a third. Um, I'm quite frankly at a loss. Um, we, we've, we've given the, you know, I, I, it comes down to coaching. I take the responsibility for it. Um, but at the end of the day, we feel like we're giving these guys the information they need. We just aren't getting it done. Um, and that's, uh, it's discouraging from a coaching staff. It's I, I, I think those guys are discouraged too. Um, and I don't know if their guys are trying too hard or what, what's going on. I, I wish I had a, I wish I had an answer because right now it's it's pretty dismal at best. Um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll jump on the grenade and, and say it, it's me. I, I mean, if I knew how to fix it, I would. Uh, but we were talking about it. We're trying to give these guys a simple, clear, clean cut approach that. Um, takes the thought process out of it. A lot of times when you're scuffling, you're thinking too much. Um, you know, our, our, our offensive approach is not real complex. Um, and if you look back at the, at the tapes and the film, it's like, okay, the, the pitches are hit or there. We just, we just aren't putting the fat part of the bat on the ball consistently. And um, I, we're capable of so much more than this and it's just not happening. So for me, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really at a loss. We, we've watched film, uh, watched video and replay and analyzed, uh, you know, to, to the point where my eyes are bleeding practically, trying to figure out what, what's going on with, with, with guys swinging the bat right now. And it's just not, again, that's our job, but the other job trying to get these guys to just think clearly and simple and aggressive. Um, it just ain't happening. With the series in Tucson, uh, there, were, there were a lot of hits, uh, obviously, in some of those games. Uh, maybe some lack of hitting with runners in scoring position, but like with this kind of drop off uh, against Utah Valley, um, is there anything really that you can put a reason for it, or is it more like uh, you talk about how, you know, things in baseball, there are lapses naturally as part of the game? Uh, is, that, is this one of those things? I mean, you, you look at. You look at velo. Did those guys have velo? No. To to blow us away. Did they have nasty breaking stuff to keep us off? No. I mean, not, I mean, we've faced arms every bit of that, uh, you know, so far this year, and we've done very well against those type of arms. But um, for me, it's it's uh, a lot of focus, I think, and and ready to play mentally. I think has has a lot to do with it. Um, again, which I. I probably preach more than I need to on being ready to play, ready to play, ready to play, and maybe, maybe they've tuned me out. I don't know, uh, but my my style of play or the my era of you were ready to play or somebody somebody held you accountable for that. And you know, right now again, I'm preaching, asking these guys to to hold each other accountable more and and wake each other up a little bit. It can't always come from us, but um, you know, at the end of the day, I guess. When all said and done, you, you you point the finger at at myself, or I point the finger at myself. Like I got to do a, somehow figure out a better way to get these guys locked in and, and ready to play better than they are, because um, we just got outplayed two games in a row, quite frankly, by by Utah Valley. So um, if that's if that's where we're at and that's what these guys are satisfied with, then it's going to be a long rest of the year. But um, I believe we're better than that. And again, to me, it's it's. Uh, the responsibility falls on my shoulders, so I got to get them better. And then the consistency and you know, stability of the lineup. I mean, you talk about maybe moving guys down, but I mean, is, is it something to where I mean you could literally shake the whole offensive lineup up and just have guys hit in different spots? And I know it goes against stability and consistency, but is that a thought? We have. We, you know, when's the last time we run the same lineup out there two days in a row? I mean, we're trying guys in different spots, um, you know, put McLean two, five, putting Campy two, three, putting Toby six, you know, at some point in time, you just can't take everybody out of the lineup. We don't have anybody left. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're, we're trying, you know, and then it's, it's one day, one guy will 
Toby will roll out five hits, and then the next day it's a little sluggish. And it's so if we can just kind of get back to the consistency of things, um, you know, and then maybe some of these guys that haven't gotten a ton of playing time, you know, that's I know they're chomping at the bit to get ready to play too. We're trying to mix those guys in too, and that just doesn't seem to be working a whole lot either. So, um, you know, bottom line, it, it it sounds like there's cloudy days right now, but I, I I believe in our offense. I believe that these guys can swing it better than they are. Um, I've said it before, hitting is contagious. It, it just takes somebody to light the fire and get this thing rolling um, with a big hit and a big moment, and, and hopefully the floodgates will go because I've seen what this offense is capable of doing, and right now we're, we're nowhere near what we're capable of doing, but until the fire gets lit, it's Man, it's frustrating to watch. We've already seen this offense being successful at times, especially early in the year. What what about the team that you see then that might not be there right now that, that was allowing them to perform so well in those first couple of weeks? Um, you know, I think uh they just weren't missing pitches early in the early in the year. I mean they were getting pitches and they were on time and squaring it up and we had merry go rounds going. Yeah. You know? Um and right now we're, we're late. And I don't know if that's just these guys are in there swinging more than they need to be swinging and they just the bat speed's gone or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I can't monitor these guys 24-7. Uh, but I do know that we're not over swinging them during batting practice. I feel like we're giving them the right amount of swings. Um, <clears throat> but the bat speed doesn't seem to be there and the crispness of, of contact doesn't seem to be there. We are getting good pitches to hit and we're fouling them back or um, – you know, not taking anything away. We we hit some balls hard too, but right at guys. But you know, early in the season, those those balls were flying out of the ballpark left and right. And now, you know, Utah Valley's balls are flying out of the ballpark, but ours are making it to the outfielders. Is all. So I don't know. I, I just I'm I'm kind of at a loss right now, to be honest. And um, I'll go back and watch this film uh, later on today and try to come up with something, but I just, I don't feel like we should be shut down the way we're being shut down right now. What is kind of the team morale and communication amongst players right now as far as um, where they're currently at? It better not be good. I mean, because if this is what they're accepting, then we're in trouble. Um, so I, I didn't talk to him much after the game. I just said, that's essentially where's your pride. Um, you guys figure it out. I'm tired of preaching. I, I've been, been preaching a lot and, and trying to motivate these guys, get them going, get them going. But at some point in time, you got to look in the mirror and either you have it or you don't. And if we don't, then I guess I recruited the wrong guys. Um, but, you know, I, I, that being said, I don't feel that way about these guys. I, I do believe that's in there. These are great kids. They, they have the desire to be good. And right now I just think they're in a rut, but um, they got to get out of it soon because this is, uh, this is not our brand of baseball right now. What you think about the pitching performance today? It seems like Schaefer continues to give you some really strong innings. Um, you know, it was uh, he had had a few walks there, but but all in all, he he, he made big pitches when he had to, um, which was which was good. Um, you know, he he um, continues to do what what we ask him to do, so uh, we we didn't want to stretch him out too much more, um, just because we we got to have, you know, we got to have those arms available this weekend too. Um, and, and we gave him two, and I think that was about enough for him. Uh, ben Jacobs got out of that first inning and then, um, you know, ran into a little roadblock there in the second. I didn't want to stretch him out too long, just, uh, you know, again, for reasons that, that we got to have arms for, for this weekend, and, and the pitching wasn't necessarily the issue. We just couldn't. We need to score runs. I'm not going to run our, our best arms out there for three, four, or five innings just to, watch our offense sputter um so you know we 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 were able to get you know enough uh enough from those guys to where we we should have scored enough i think with the uh, sunday roll kind of up in the air um the guys who you've seen have been really good out of the bullpen um they have a performance like they did last night uh jacobs uh Schieffer. at what point do you open up options uh for maybe stretching out a reliever to get someone in that starting role, or is, are you not really at that point um, with, with that? Um, you know, we have different options, I think, but 
you know, it's robbing Peter to pay Paul. I, I, you, you take take your best arms out of the bullpen and start them, then who do you got in the bullpen? You know, and and we all see how what a punch in the stomach that is when you lose a game late, um, when you don't have your good arms late to finish games. But, you know, right now it, it's, a, it's a challenge uh, for, for me and Sammy to, to try to put guys in the right situations where we can give enough length but not too much and, you know, keep guys available for the following following day and, and so right now we haven't even looked at Sunday we're, we're licking our wounds from today and scratching our head going what what in the world um, but you know we'll look at look at Friday um, and see who we got uh, you know following uh, uh, Burnsy and you know seeing what we can get out of Burnsy and and how we finish that game and then worry about Saturday Saturday and Sunday Sunday Um, you know, I think there was, there was, uh, you know, a lot of discussion, but, but, um, there, there was a fear factor too, um, that we had, if you didn't represent the program properly or didn't play hard or didn't, you know, didn't bounce back, there was, there was someone there to fight you and it's a different era. Um, called stretch like this, um, obviously you have a certain feel for where the players are at mentally, emotionally. Um, when you were a player, do you ever remember a time when, when you and your guys were at a point like this? Um, I played a long time. Yeah, I've been through stretches like this before to where that it, it, it's uh, – dismal and and seems like every day is cloudy and overcast and getting ready to rain right and and like I said it just takes one guy to step up and get the big hit and the big situation and the floodgates will open and that's what I think guys are waiting for that guy to somebody to step up um and like I said some days individual performances are great you know some days but are we putting it together as a team performance no we haven't done that yet this year in my opinion so um, at some point that's got to come if we're going to be the team we want and the pieces are all there we, in, at some point in time throughout the year like I said there's been enough very good individual performances that we have enough guys that are capable of making this thing work it's just got to it's got to flow together better as a team um, and guys stepping up at the right team moment to get things done. Today, uh, today you have three hitters on the field, two coming from pickoff moves. Uh, would you say that that had any effect uh, to the offensive side of the ball today, maybe kind of changing the momentum? Shouldn't. That's a different side of the ball. They put a chalk line there for fair and foul and to forget about defense when you come to offense and forget about offense when you go to defense. So, you know, that's that's – Baseball 101, you don't bring your offense to defense and vice versa. But, um, you know, the, the miscues, those are inexcusable. You know, we can't execute a pickoff move to first or to second and drop a pop-up and drop a routine ball from short. Like, you don't deserve to win. And those are just a lack of focus, in my opinion. You talked about last midweek, lost to Mexico, trying to switch up routines as uh, guys – are more ready uh, for these kinds of games. Is there any sort of anything new, uh, new insight on, on that? Um, I, I would I would say this: we've done everything we can to accommodate them. They need to grow up at some point in time. Either you got it or you don't. Either you're ready to play on Tuesday and Wednesday or you're not. I can't do any more than we're doing. We are giving them every possible thing we can to accommodate their inability to focus and play. And maybe I'm enabling too much, but at some point in time, they got to grow up and learn how to play. Like if these guys want to play at the next level of pro ball, you don't get days off in pro ball. It is what it is. And you got to show up play every day. These guys are getting three, four days off a week where they're not playing games. So don't give me the mentally fatigued thing. Just learn to show up and get ready to play. Um, again, so that's, I guess, where I get frustrated at times where it's like I shouldn't have to motivate every single day. At some point in time, you got to look in the mirror and get ready to play. And these guys are good kids that care, but it's like, man, 
come ready to play, button your chin strap and be ready to go punch somebody in the mouth. Um, not literally, but from a competition standpoint, be ready to go. Um, and, you know, it, we can't sit and wait till six and a half innings before we decide to wake up offensively. That's got to be from pitch one. So uh, for me, that that's the, I guess, where I'm still trying to learn how to poke and prod and get these guys going. Um, clearly, I haven't done a good enough job yet. The, the players only mean post-game. Has, has that been something uh, that has increased in recent weeks? Obviously, you kind of talked to us about wanting more of that the player, player accountability. Um, like in terms of the volume of having players in those contexts to, to talk to each other, how often does that, does that happen? I don't know. I mean, uh, players, if they're doing it, good for them. It's about time. So I, I, I did not speak with them long. I figured sometimes uh, things unsaid are better than the things I was about to say. So I just kept it very brief. And if they wanted to have a meeting themselves, so be it good, good for them.